Our next speaker, Ovid LaMontagne, is the fourth generation son of Manchester mill workers and dentists. He practices law at Divine Moment and Branch. He is a graduate of the Catholic University of America and the University of, of Wyoming College of Law. Ovid served as legal counsel for the New Hampshire State Senate during the 1991 legislative ses session. Ovid and his wife Betty have two daughters. I am proud to stand with you and before you with Israel. I am a son of New Hampshire, a citizen of Manchester, and I join with other citizens of New Hampshire and Manchester to send a message around the world that we stand with our most important ally, and that's the nation of Israel. I want to thank the organizers of this event for bringing us together in solidarity with our very important friends and that very important nation of Israel. And why do we stand with Israel? We do so as Americans because Israel stands with us. We do so as Americans because the nation of Israel embodies what is about us. That is the Judeo-Christian tradition which forms the basis of our country. The values that for generations and for thousands of years were lived by the Jewish people were expressed and incorporated in the founding documents of our country, were they not? When Thomas Jefferson wrote these words, all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. They could have been writing, he could have been writing that about the foundation of the nation of Israel that we celebrate today, as surely as he did about the foundation of America. That is who we are. And make no mistake about it, we are a nation of laws, and our legal system derives its just authority from the consent of the people applying the principles of our Judeo-Christian traditions. That's what we believe in. So it is so important that in this time of great uncertainty, instability, change in the Middle East, that we let our friends and neighbors and relatives know in Israel that we will be there with them every step of the way. And this isn't just nation to nation, it's people to people. People to people that we're reaching out to, our friends, our brothers, our sisters, our cousins in Israel. And I leave you with this thought. Please pray for the people of Israel as you pray for our country. Both nations, both peoples are under great state of crisis, if you will, because of the threats that are imposed on us. We have, become, we have to become a more humble people, a people that understands that we are not sui generis when it comes to all powers, that we are a nation that is formed by people created by God. And therefore we need to stand in solidarity with our friends and the nation of Israel. So I ask you, please pray for them, please pray for us. God bless Israel and God bless America. Thank you very much.